Good morning, comic book fans. It's Rusty again with Collector Auctions. And as you can see, I'm in the car. And first thing is, I'm going to apologize for the noise. Normally, when I'm on the road in these videos like this, I will get to the location and I will sit down, turn the car off, turn all the noise off, and have a clean video intro for you. But today, I don't have time. We're heading to Annapolis, Maryland for Third Eye Comics. They are doing a signing with Jeff Johns. And it is a free public signing, and that means people are going to be lining up really early. As it is, I'm probably, I'm looking at the clock, it, I probably will be there a little bit more than an hour and a half before the line starts. But even that, people are going to be, well, trust me, there's going to be plenty of people already there. Now, luckily, they do offer a VIP package that lets you get in the line early, or basically an early group that goes in first. But even that line starts to back up, and I definitely want to get through the line quick and then be able to get to work on time without worrying about anything like that. So we're going to go down. We're going to get some books signed. I got some great comics to get signed by Jeff Johns. I look forward to getting some of his new Ghost Machine books that just came out this last week because in a month up at Philly at the Fan Expo, well, Jeff Johns is going to be there as well, but Brian Hitch... Gary Franks and some of his other Ghost Machine artists and creators are going to be there. So I'm looking forward to getting some of these new books that just came out this week signed and to be able to take up there and get the additional creators on there as well. So sit back, enjoy some of the footage I'm going to take today, and I'll come back and I'll show you the books that I got signed by Jeff Johns. All right, guys, I just finished up here at Third Eye Comics in Annapolis, Maryland. I have got a lot of books signed. Thank goodness I was in that first group, that VIP group. I was about 20 back in line, and it took forever. It was almost an hour before I finally got up there to talk with Jeff Johns and get some of these books signed. And you saw the photo. I got, got a couple of photos with him. He was so gracious to everybody. He spent time talking ever, with everybody and doing remarks on some of the books, especially the ones with Geiger. And I think he, even the Flashpoint stuff, he would put the, the Flash symbol and things like that. I mean, he was doing little remarks on multiple books and signing everything. And, and it took, an, it took a, a long time and got a lot of stuff signed. I will get home and I will show you everything that I got signed today. But keep watching the video because I'm going to do the exact same thing tomorrow. We're going to come down here to Third Eye Comics, Trish Foistner, Tony Fleeks of Stray Dogs fame with their new book, Feral, just out, are going to be here together. And I'm looking forward to that just like I am with this one. And what we'll do is I'll wrap the whole video up into one big giant episode, a big, big signing episode from all from Third Eye Comics here. So stay tuned for that as well. But for the moment, stay tuned and I will show you these books once I get home. All right. Take care. The next morning. All right, guys. All right, guys. I know you were expecting to see some Jeff Johns books right now, but I realized I didn't have enough time to shoot that part of the show. 
and then get up and come down to the signing today. Had a late night at work last night, great night at Amazon. We got lots of packages out to all the customers, but I didn't have enough time to do that part of the filming. And then get up this morning and come down to the Trish Foistner and Tony Fleek signing at Third Eye Comics in Annapolis, Maryland. So here we are, I'm heading down there right now. We're gonna do a repeat of yesterday. I'm gonna get in line, I'll take some footage, get some great books signed, I'll come back and I will do a wrap up for the entire weekend. I'll show you books I got signed from both Jeff Johns, Tony Fleeks and Chris Foistner. So stay tuned and I will be back once again after some footage from Third Eye Comics. All right, guys, I just finished up at Third Eye Comics here with the signing with Tony Fleeks and Tris Hoisner. Had a great time, but as you saw, I didn't take a lot of footage, and that was because there wasn't as many people here as I expected. So I was really close to the front of the line when I went in. I did buy the VIP package to make sure I was in the first group because I did expect a huge crowd, and it just wasn't as big as I expected, but that did put me third in line, and that meant I didn't have a lot of time to do a lot of filming at the very beginning as we're walking in the store and getting in line. So hope you enjoyed the little bit of footage that I shot there. I did get to take a nice photo with the two of them. That was very nice. And they were signing everything there. As I said, the crowd wasn't big. So they are, in fact, they're still signing right now. There was a decent crowd, but nothing like the Jeff Johns line from the day before. But it's really nice. They were actually doing sketches for people. I am not quite as into that. And especially I love getting books signed, but I'm not as much into getting sketch covers and things like that done. Maybe I should. This would have probably been a good opportunity for that. But I'd given them so many books to get signed, including this right here, the first issue of Feral. This is the regular cover. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to head home I want to get the rest of the books bagged and boarded along with the Jeff Johns books from yesterday. I want to put everything together and we will do a comic book review of everything that I got signed over the weekend here. So sit back and I will be right back with you. A little longer than a few minutes later. All right, everybody. I finally finished up at Third Eye Comics for the weekend. I ended up going to the signings on Saturday with Jeff Johns and then Sunday with Trish Foistner and Tony Fleeks. Let's start with Saturday. And you saw some of the footage before. I've talked about it a little bit. But let's go through the things that I got signed. We did get the first issue or the one shot from Ghost Machine. This was the preview issue with a lot of the content that they're going to be publishing. And Jeff Johns is going to be publishing through Image Comics. And it's pretty cool. We signed it right here below the trade dress. Here is Rook Exodus number one. And as you can see, he signed it right up here at the top. Right there. And here is the new red coat number one. And as you can see, he signed it right, right there. And then the other big number one that got released this week, all three of these number one issues, not the one shot, but the, these three issues, including this here, Geiger number one, all got released this last week leading up to the signing, which was pretty cool. So these are some of the first books that he signed from the line. And it's what's pretty cool about this is, well, one, take a look at this beautiful remark that he did. He was doing a lot of remarks on the Geiger books for a lot of people. And I thought this was really cool. It's unsolicited. He was just doing this. And he would also do remarks on some of the Flash books too. I kept seeing the Flash symbol being put on there. What's going to be cool about all of these books right here, including some more you're going to see here, is that I'm going to be taking them up to Philadelphia in a month for the Fan Expo. And he's going to be there, but also will be Gary Frank, Jason Fabic, and Brian Hitch, not to mention Brad Anderson, the colorist. And I think some of the other artists on the Ghost Machine line are there as well. I'm not really sure. 
But I'm going to be taking these books up there now that these are signed by Jeff Johns to get additional signatures on them. But these were the, this was pretty cool because these were the first releases just this week. But that wasn't all I got signed. So this was a special project piece I was working on. I picked this up here a year ago. It is Detective Comics 1000. It was an auction win from Third Eye Comics that I got. It was already pre-signed by James Tinian. But in the meantime, I bought this because it's a Frank Miller cover. At some point, if I get a chance to see Frank Miller again, I'll get him to sign it. But also in the interior, who else worked on this book? A lot of different people, really. So I ended up getting Steve Epting last year. There's Brian Michael Bendis right there. And of course, Jeff Johns added a signature up there at the top. So there's still a few more people out there that would have uh, definitely I'd like to add to this. It's a shame that Neil Adams passed away because I probably would have added him to this. He worked on this as well. But I'm looking, I've got a list on the back here of some people who worked on it. Uh, Paul Denny, Peter Tomasi, Scott Snyder, Tom King, Christopher P Priest is going to be on there. Uh, Amanda Connor, yeah, Jim Lee. Let's see, Greg Capullo. So this could be a really nice project piece by the time I'm finished. And what's cool about a book like this now is I can work in this at my leisure. Whenever I want to and go to a show and I get somebody, I can add to it. And at some point, now that CGC is going to verify signatures due to their acquisition of PSA, I can send a book like this in to get graded and authenticated from from. CGC, which is really awesome. So we're going to take really good care of this book and work on this this next year. We'll see how we do. Should be a fun piece. Anyway, let's put that down. Let's go on to some other really cool books. Now, these will be going up to Philadelphia with me. I ended up getting Batman Three Jokers number one. It's, I didn't go too deep on the Three Jokers, different various various covers on this, but I wanted to get at least one of each of the first three issues signed by Jeff Johns and then take this up here and get Jason Fabic and Brad Anderson to sign all three of these as well. So those are pretty cool. Great story. I talked to Jeff Johns just briefly while he was signing, and one of the things I told him I liked so much about this whole storyline was those last two pages, the reveal at the very end really just was the kicker at the very end that really just put a big explanation point on the whole really good three issue series here but these will be going to philadelphia for for like i said jason fabic and brad anderson all right what else what else i did get the giant size geiger number one as well now this book again it's kind of a it's kind of a collection of all the different artists working at ghost machine as well i mean you got Gary Frank, Brian Hitch, um, who else is on here? There's a few others on here, I think. But again, this book will go up to Philly as well to try to get multiple signatures on it. I did get the Flash 800 issue, the variant cover by Michael Cho. Michael Cho will be at Heroes Con again this year. So the plan is to get him to sign this. I would have taken this book anyway to get Michael Cho to sign, but with Jeff John's contributing to this book to one of the stories I wanted to add him to this as well I'm real big on getting books signed by multiple creators it's something I've talked about on shows in the past and I will continue talking about that in future episodes as well that's one of the funnest things that I do in this hobby is to try to get multiple creators on one book I did get Geiger the original Geiger number one but this is issue this is the second printing and he made a comment Jeff Johns made a comment of how much he really... This is one of his favorite covers from that original series right there. And you can... Let's see if you can see his signature. It's a little hard on the screen right there in this. I'm going to get forward. I don't know if it's going to focus or not. It's a little hard to see in this light, but his signature is right there. He did it in a green that didn't quite pop as much as I would like, but it was still pretty good. I did have a third printing as well of the same kind of cover. Of course, that pops really good with the black pen on the white. All right, let's put these down real quick. And a few more things I got signed. I did get this. This will be another project piece. This is Countdown to Infinite Crisis. You've got this cover by Alex Ross. And what I didn't realize was 
It's by Alex Ross and Jim Lee. So now I've got to add Jim Lee to this. And I'm lucky Jim Lee's going to be in Baltimore this fall for, for the Baltimore Comic Con. So I'll add him to that. And the artist on the inside, uh, Rags Morales, was doing this. I think he's going to be at, up in Philadelphia as well. I've got to double check that. So that's coming up on coming up pretty fast. So I've got to basically get my books ready to go before I head up there in, I guess it's the first week in May. But if I ever get a chance to see Alex Ross again, I will add that as well. Who knows, we, we probably will have another signing by Alex Ross at some point, I'm sure. All right, a couple more books. I did get the sketch variant cover of JSK, JSA Classified Number 1, the Adam Hughes cover. And you can see this beautiful signature really pops right up here at the top. This is a book I love. It's one of my favorite Adam Hughes's, one of his favorite covers I, that I've seen. The color version of this, I had that, and I got it graded as a 9.6, and I actually sold that about a year or so ago, and I've been wanting to get it back in my collection in a really good copy, but I did pick this up, and it is not it is not a gradable copy. It's got a little defect down here on the cover. Got a little spot right there that kind of yeah, breaks the paper a little bit. I think the next artist, whoever I get to sign this, whether it's um, Amanda Connor, Jimmy Paul Miyabe, Call me Audie, excuse me, I'm butchering his name. Adam Hughes, I think I'll have him sign over that spot down there at the bottom so it'll cover it up. But that's just a beautiful presentation piece. I will not get that graded because of that defect, though. I did get this, and it was only because I could not lay my hands on any of the original copies that I had of Doomsday Clock. Uh, we'll, we'll also get Gary Frank to sign this. It was Gary Frank, right? Yeah. Yeah, it was Gary Frank, right? Was it did that? It was it. Yeah, I can't remember. Was it Gary Frank or was it uh, Jason Fabic? I, I can't remember now. But take that to Philadelphia, Philadelphia as well. I would have preferred probably the regular number one on that, but I had the lenticular. If you can, I don't know if that's even showing with the Superman, Batman, Wonder Woman symbols there and the Roshark mask, but the pin on this on this lenticular is very it kind of bleeds a little bit so that yeah it's not the best i've seen and then that was that was it for the comic books but i ended up with one more thing and also going to go to philadelphia i didn't have the original flashpoint i didn't have that i didn't have those issues i wasn't reading dc very much at the time i kind of wish i did i should go back and buy those copies but i did pick up flashpoint unwrapped and of course jeff this is jeff johns but it, it's andy kubert and he is going to be up in philadelphia as well so this book right here will be going with me to philadelphia and i'll show you he signed right there on the inside cover and as you can see, I got a little flash remark right up there at the top. So I will add, try to add Andy Cooper to this as well. It's pretty cool. But that was it for Jeff Johns at Third Eye Comics. It was a great day. You saw some of the footage. There was a lot of people there for him. And I was glad I got in the VIP line. I was about 20 people back, and it took over an hour for me to finally get up there at the top, but it was a good time, good experience. I enjoy meeting him. This is probably about the third or fourth time I've gotten to meet Jeff Johns. All the other times had been at Baltimore Comic Con, including last year. All right, so I go Saturday now, and excuse me, Sunday, and I go down for the Trish Foistner, Tony Fluke signing, Fleece signing, excuse me, and I, again, was very surprised that the crowd wasn't as big. And I'm thinking maybe I do regret maybe not getting a sketch done. But I felt like I got so many comics signed that it was kind of impolite to ask for a, even more stuff. So let's just start with what we got. I ended up with... Let's, let's just start with Feral. This is the brand new book that's come out. This is Lady and a Tramp meets Walking Dead, I guess, at this point. But here's the regular cover signed by both of them. Feral just came out, like, a, by the time this video comes out, it's going to be a couple weeks at this point. But I got that cover and the alternate cover right here. And you can see both of their signatures on either side there. And what's fun is, usually when they, 
when both of them are signing, they will sign to kind of match their signatures. They'll balance them out like this right here. We did get the, I think this is the Third Eye Comics exclusive for issue number one. And I did pick this up at the store. Everything else I had already bought, I already had in the PC. And I'll show you this before we get to the other comics. They, if you got there early and were one of the first 10 people in line, they had a special gift for you at Third Eye. And I knew I was going to get there early, but unlike the Jeff John signing, I showed up basically at the same time for both signings. Both signings started at 11 o'clock. I showed up at Jeff John's. I was probably about probably about 50 back total, but I was only 20 back in the line for the VIP line. But that still, you got to count the people who showed up for the regular public signing. I showed up for this signing, and there were two people in front of me in the VIP line, and that was it. I, there was no other people in the VIP line by the time we opened up the door. Everybody else was over in the regular line, and it turned out I was the 10th person there in line today, and they had a, an exclusive print from issue number one right there, and I got both of them to sign that as well, and it says here, number one, launch signing with creators Tony Fleeks and Chris Foistner. It's got the date, 4 7 Annapolis, and the time and everything, and that's where I found... First 10 in line get a free limited sign uh, print to this to this event. So I got him to sign that as well. That's pretty cool. I'm gonna have to find a frame for this. I don't we'll have to go to Michael's and get a frame for that. But then of course, what else do I bring to the signing with these two? Because what they're known for is stray dogs. And man, I've got so many stray dogs comics left. That are even ungraded. I've got, I finally picked up this. This was, I should say, picked up another copy. This is the first issue, the Silence of the Lamb cover. It's one of my favorite covers that they did. And I actually got this graded, and I think I ended up selling that back when this was a lot hotter than it is these days. And, but I finally got a signed copy of that. And we'll go through this here. This is issue. This was the second, I guess this is the second issue. What is this? Pet Cemetery, I believe. That homage. Some of these movies I'm not going to know exactly. This is issue number four. Which movie is that? I think that was an, a foreign horror film. I cannot remember what that one was. Uh, let's see. There also was the Stray Dogs Dog Days two issue series as well that had a ton of covers. I think this was the regular cover for number one. And that was the regular cover for number two right there. You can see their signatures right up there. Really pops on this these dark covers where they do the silver paint pens. All right, let's put these down for a sec. And this was issue number two. I don't know which movie this was a variant of, but I had a couple of those that I got. I, I didn't get many duplicates signed, so I, was, I had so many different things. This is one of my favorite covers from the first issue of Dog Days. This was the homage to the Creep Show poster. And then we go back to issue number one. This was... Which print? I don't remember which print this was. This is issue number one. Uh, I think this was the Dracula homage movie. And this was the 28 Days Later homage issue number two let's put this down real quick as well you can tell i got a lot of books signed i can't put too many up here right now i did get their free comic book day signed this i think this came out was this last year or two years ago now i cannot remember but i got one of those signed and then from dog days number one from last year they had the Third Eye Comics exclusive. They both came out. They had two exclusives to the, to the issue number one. They had this one right here, the Elvira, Elvira homage and Basket Case number one. So those are all the books that I ended up getting signed. So you can tell there was a lot of books and I just didn't feel, one, I didn't feel like 
sticking around and going back in line to then come back up and ask for a sketch. It they'd are they were doing some sketches in the line and just there were so many things signed. So I just bypassed on that today. But I want to say it was great seeing Tris Voichner again. Again, I, she is somebody I've seen at Third Eye Comics and. As I've mentioned before, I've actually stood in line with her when Scotty Young was at Third Eye a couple of years ago now, and she didn't feel right just going in and saying, hey, I'm Trish Foistner, and let me go talk to to uh, Scotty Young. They hadn't talked, they hadn't even talked on the phone. I don't think they had met in person at that point, but both of them had done variant covers for each other's books. I, I'm not sure what Trish had done books for 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 Scotty Young, but I know that Scotty Young had done at least one cover for Stray Dogs as well. So that was kind of cool because she stood in line behind me the whole time. And I got to talk to her a lot while we were waiting, going up there, and that was that was a lot of fun. And when everything when I finished up with Scotty Young, I immediately went in the store and I found a couple copies. These two copies right here were still on the stands at Third Eye Comics and I Found those, and I waited around till Trish was finished with Scotty Young, and I had her sign both of those as well. Now, and then last year, I took it down to Heroes Con and got Tony Fleeks to add those signatures. So I do have a couple, multiple copies of that now, both of those signed. So that was pretty, pretty cool. And again, thanks, Third Eye Comics. You had a great weekend. Thank you for letting me take part in all that. That was a lot of fun. Uh, you guys do a great job with these signings, uh, as always. So look forward to any future signings at Third Eye Comics. Guys, if you're ever interested in any books or any signings, books, anything from Third Eye Comics, check out their website. I have got a link in the description below. They have signings all the time. You can buy books that they get signed there. In fact, I know there are plenty. We're going to their website right now. If you want any of the Jeff Johns books signed, from the Ghost Machine stuff. They have a ton of those signed on their website already. So you can pick those up real easy. But that's it for the weekend, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. I had a lot of fun. Definitely leave me a comment in the comment section. Let me know what you think of the books that I got signed and what do you do you like these creators? These what do you think about the whole weekend and my experience? Have you got to meet any of these guys? So Definitely, like I said, leave me a comment in the comment section. And if you like this kind of content going forward, definitely hit that like, slap the subscribe, and click on that notification bell so you guys don't miss out on any of my episodes that I put out each and every week, Mondays and Fridays at 10 a.m. All right, guys, I'm pretty tired. I'm finally going to get some sleep after this show. It has been a long weekend. I didn't get a lot of rest getting up early, getting these lines. So I'm going to go take a nap and I, then I'll finish editing the rest of the show and we'll finally get this out to you guys. Guys, take care and I will see you for the next episode. Just remember, every comic has a story.